So this is a game controller for the iPhone 15 USB-C or your Android phones. It is called the Easy SMX M10. And for some reason they advertise Stadia even though it's dead. Luna, GeForce Now, Steam, Arcade, Game Pass. Um, and it has linear hall triggers, hall effect Joy-Cons, Xbox layout, one key screenshot, designed for iOS and ergonomic grip. So it says all the, it says right here this, but it's the Android version that they sent me. At least I hope they sent me the Android version. It has that. It's very very uh, nice over here with it. This is just production model, and it is USB-C. So over here, we have what is the cable that you can use for plugging into the wall if you need a cable for that but I'm gonna put this inside and hide it back away because I don't like to use these cables not just personal preference um, you have this it extends outwards nice feeling buttons and trigger and this is very clicky over here you have your M1 and you have M2 you have a home button screenshot button and then this screenshot this one I don't I think brightness settings plus and minus so and then on the bottom you have a USB-C port that you can plug in for charging on the other side you have nothing so I'm gonna test this out for a little bit and I'll be back once I have it all set up and running and working so I wanted to come to talk about the Easy SMX. You saw the unboxing. Now let's talk about the rest of this. So it extends really far so it can, I don't think it'll do tablets, but it gets up to like big phones. So I can take, I have to take my case off. It's expected. And once I take my case off the phone and I'm able to drop my phone in here, pull it back all the way and you see how far it extends. So this can get up to the S23 Ultra. So for some reason, my phone asks if it's hard current charging or file change, so I click cancel. And I can use my phone really, really perfectly fine, except sometimes to swipe up. Otherwise, it's fine, as you can see. And I play a game. So as you can see, I have a Riptide GP uh, installed on the phone. Now that's the game that I've been playing the most with this. Like it's encouraged me to play like on the bus, On I can play games. And it's not like I'm going to be playing crazy games because I'm not connected to my computer or to like cloud streaming, but this works with cloud streaming. And it has the Xbox layout. Now, it's very nice, it's very easy, and it's made me enjoy playing like these stupid little games on my phone a bit more. They have these mouse click buttons on the, L, on the uh, R1 and L1, and then they have M1 and M2 as, a, uh, as different buttons you can use. And then R1 and R2, or R L1, L2 and R2 are just regular uh, push down triggers that all the controllers I have. The buttons don't feel mushy. There's a, there's a home and settings button, but I haven't been able to get the settings to do anything. There's a screenshot and there's like a reload button. I think I'm not sure, I haven't been able to get that to do anything. There's a plus and minus. And then this is to sh either show it's charged with a pass through. And then this is to show it's connected. Now what I, what I like about this is these these joy cons over here these little joysticks are hall effect sensors which means that they have magnets and it's basically supposed to eradicate stick drift so what that means is you're going to school got a long car trip on the road whatever throw this in your bag or pocket take it out and you're not going to have to do any like whole protection issue for these for this for these uh, sticks because they're Hall Effect sensors, so they're going to be perfect no matter what you do. So you're not going to have to uh, you're not going to have to worry about that, which is nice. Like it's nice. You just throw it in your in your pocket or bag, and you don't have to worry about anything. It just it, they're they're just easy easy uh, to protect. Now it's really ignited my love of, of these racing games just because, look I can go start a game There, 
and I can play. So I don't need to tilt the phone or anything. I just go like this, and I can do all the controls like I was playing an actual uh, video game here, except with like a mobile style control. And I can I can play my. I'm not doing the best, of course, because I'm looking through the screen here. But it's fun. It's like one of those little. Oops. One of those games that you just you can sit there and play. And you don't have to worry about what you do, and you just sit there. There's no more tilting, there's no controls on the screen. So you can see, like, it's a bit more annoying to do the to do the tilting on the screen. And then sometimes the controls. So I get to do, like, it shows me here. If I go in and I see the uh, stunt list, I have... And I like I can do all that stuff. Like it's actually really, really fun to play these games with all the stunts. It's a very easy controller. Someone thought it was a Switch controller, but because they didn't realize. But it doesn't really damage the cameras, and everything just feels nice. It's nice that it has a pass through that goes down, because then I can sit like this. My hands fit perfectly fine. And there's some games that I just can't play without the controller, just because on-screen control sucks sometimes. And I've actually done a lot better playing some of these games with the controller than I did without it. Now, I, there's this USB-C version that works with, with the iPhone 15 and Android. Now you have the UI Lightning version which works with the iPhone 14 and down. So, both of these are the same review. The only difference is the Lightning versus a uh, versus, uh, USB-C cable. And it's nice. It's a very nice to hold in the hand. Doesn't feel cheap. It costs $50 off sale. And I will have a discount code in the description for you because it gives you, because the discount code in the description gives you 12% off your purchase at Easy SMX. I recommend picking this up. If you're looking for like a game controller, there's like that Razer, um, I'm not sure, there's a bunch of other controllers out there for the phone. And this one I found to be the best just because there's no hacky workaround. You don't have to go ahead and unscrew and replace with the Hall Effect sensors. It just has built right in. I don't do anything, and I already have Hall Effect sensors. Look, I take this off, put the phone away. What do I do? Throw this in my pocket. And and I don't have to worry about joysticks breaking. It's perfect. I love I love this uh, con the controller. I've, in, I've been using this a lot, and I actually think that if I were going to be buying, were going to be just playing games on my phone, I actually would pick this up. Thank you for Easy SMX for sending this, but if it were me buying, paying my money for it, I actually would pick this up. Has cool little just sensibility grip on the back of it for it, so like it feels a really nice grip. It's just nice all around. There's nothing wrong with it, it has rubber all around. It's perfect. I 100% recommend this if you're looking for to purchase one of these things. If you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and so always enjoy the rest of your day.